everybody Chris here from Siege Board Journey welcome back it's uh, Saturday uh, June 4th and uh, it's been a really long week for me uh, you know if you've been watching this series you've seen that uh, during my latest treatment I had a major reaction to my Obdivo treatment and uh, I just haven't been well since uh, he did start me on um, a dose of prednisone last week. I think he called it a med med dose pack or something like that. I don't know, but uh, it seemed to help the first couple days, and then I just don't think it was strong enough. He's going to give me a second dose for next week. I get to do that, and I've just been miserable all week. I haven't done absolutely anything this week at all besides lay around uh, in bed a lot and um, yeah when I'm upstairs laying down I don't even have the TV on I shut the curtains and uh, I just lay there in, in the quiet and uh, it's it's bad you know it's you know when you're laying there all day long and you just lay there and you think your mind is going crazy and, and I think about everything I need to do and I want to do and it needs done and uh, it just eats at you it just keeps eating at you and um, actually makes you feel worse and I, I try to get up and do something but but the only thing I got done this week was our dryer broke down last week or the week before last and uh, I finally had enough energy I think it was Thursday night we went down to Lowe's and got a new dryer I think it was Wednesday a anyhow we went to Lowe's and got a new dryer brought it home and I did get it hooked up and uh, got it working and got the old one as far as the back porch and uh, it sat there all the rest of the week and uh, we just got around today to getting it off the back porch and uh, around back so we can't see it right now so I'll take care of it later it's not a big deal you can't see it right now so but anyhow um, yeah still not feeling great um, still have those pains down and starts along here and goes along my, my rib cage and around my back and just it's debilitating and uh, just just hurts so bad you, you I just don't feel like doing anything but it's been a week and a half since we mowed over at our dad's house so we are getting ready to head over there uh, we got the mower loaded up and uh, we were getting ready to head over there and mow and uh, Cheryl's gonna take the push mower and do the push mowing and uh, we're gonna get that done I imagine we probably get bale hay over there right now so we're gonna head over there and I'll check back in when we get over there. And Cheryl's over here looking at her. I love the peonies. Peonies, she said they're the ones on the other side are white and they haven't quite flowered yet. They're delayed. But uh, anyhow we get to go for a Jeep ride on the way over to her Woo! dad's house. So we're gonna do what's this what's this saying, kill two two birds? Kill two birds two, with one stone. Two birds with one stone. One fun and one not so fun. So we'll see you when we get over there. All right. Bye. All right. We're here over here at Cheryl's dad's. And Cheryl just twisted her ankle carrying some stuff out to the storage shed. Grace. Jimmy and Graceful. So she's got ice on her ankle. I got done mowing. And I'm... Um, I'm tired. I'm I'm really tired, but it needed mowed. So I'm glad we we got that done. got that done. And uh, Cheryl mowed out out here. I usually mow this with the with the weed whacker, but she brought the push mower along today, and we mowed down there in the meadow along the creek. And uh, it's a pretty big yard. And we got her all mowed. And it's starting to dry out good. So hopefully won't have to mow every week here or soon we can go to every two weeks but uh we're over here and you can probably see some stuff laying around on the porch we're getting ready to start on this big project here uh Cheryl's dad's house 
she inherited. Uh, my dad passed uh, a year and a half ago, and this was my grandmother's house as well, and uh, wanted to keep it and renovate it, and um, it is a log cabin, and hoping to take it back to the original. Yes, so w what we're hoping to do with it is uh, we're going to open up the inside walls, the log walls on the inside and expose that and uh, make the inside look original and uh, we're, we're not going to do that on the outside. We're going to just go with siding on the outside so we don't have to worry about oh the upkeep of the log house. It's a lot of work so uh, we're just going to concentrate on the inside and restoring the inside right now and uh, the project is actually going to get started here this week uh, and it's going to get started by getting a new electric service in and I'll just show you what we're going to have going on. I was hoping that we were going to have, I was going to be a little more hands-on uh, with this project but it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to but uh, the first thing we got going on is we're going to take this 100 amp service and all this old electrical here and uh, we got an electrician coming and uh, he's going to get rid of this box and we're going to get rid of all all this electrical that's on the outside and uh, we're going to upgrade it to a 200 amp service and he's going to move everything on the inside uh, so all the switches and everything are on the inside and uh, we'll be able to upgrade the uh, heating and cooling system eventually here and uh, so that's going to be the big first step and uh they're going to try to get started on that this week and uh that's going to be the first thing to do and uh then we'll go from there but uh we got a good friend of ours that's been helping us out getting all this together rob um he's been uh, really uh god sent oh he's been awesome helping us out and directing for what to do yeah and giving us um advice yeah. and ideas and we're going to be using him a lot on this job he has a passion for working on these old houses so we're glad that we have him and um we look forward to working with him and I uh, look forward to getting this project going. Uh, I know Cheryl's probably a little more excited than, than I am at this point, but uh, yeah, I was hoping to be a little more hands-on and help with this project, but I just, well, maybe I start this new treatment. Um, I don't know if I talked about that yet or not. The uh, uh, new, uh, it's gonna be a pill form. It's a targeted chemotherapy pill called Enlita, I, I think how you say it, it's I-N-L-Y-T-A. And uh, it's uh, one pill every 12 hours. And um, hopefully I'll be able to start that soon. I think I'm gonna do one more round of prednisone next week. Try to help me get through this uh, Obdivo mess that I've got going on here. Uh, hopefully next week I'll start feeling a lot better. I, I, I do feel a little better today but i'm sure when i get home i'm going to be paying for it and uh you've been eating better and the prednisone definitely helps me eat and I, I was eating a little better this week uh still not eating red meat uh she fixed me sp uh, spaghetti or zitty noodles zitty with turkey with turkey burger last night and that was really good i, I ate uh, a bowl full and then went back and got another little spoonful of that last night and um, I'm sure the prednisone has helped me eat this week. Been eating a lot more this week. And uh, I think we're gonna stop on the way home somewhere and get something to eat on the way home. Cheryl's been cooking all week and for me and, and taking care of me. So I'll treat her to dinner tonight since she busted her ankle here today. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep everybody posted with, uh, uh, as I find out more about my new treatment and uh, Keep you posted on how the prednisone goes i, I got to call the doctor on monday and i'll uh, know more i guess after i talk to him on monday so i got that going on this week and um what else anything just resting and healing and yeah drinking lots of water yeah trying trying to drink water to flush I, out your system 
Yeah, I've been trying to do that. I, I've always had trouble drinking water, and, and um, but I've been doing better here lately. So. And I'm going to wrap myself in bubble wrap. <laughs> yes. So I don't hurt myself anymore. Yeah. Grace. There I go. Yeah, we don't need her laid up too. Only one of us need to be laid up at this time. But hopefully I won't be laying around too much more. Hopefully I'll get some oomph back and uh, I'll feel like getting up and getting up off the couch and, and doing something. So, all right, with all that said, I think that's about all I got this week. Um, and we're grateful. We're grateful. We're always grateful. grateful it's uh, for another day. And yeah, it's, it was a little rough this week. I had a hard time being grateful this week. When you uh, feel as bad as I did this week and you're laying, and I said this earlier, you're laying, laying in bed and it's quiet and you feel bad and you just... You, you, it's just rough. It's just it's it's hard. It's it's hard. It's but, hard seeing uh, him like that too. But, but anyhow, keep going. I'm I'm gonna try to keep keep go, getting it. And uh, with all that said, appreciate y'all coming along on the journey as usual. And uh, oh yeah, I want to say uh, happy anniversary to Donnie and Kathy. It's their 28th I think she, she said 28th anniversary today and, uh, and uh, Maureen and Alan I'm not sure how many it is with them but uh, we Good. were we were really going to have um, um, dinner with them down at camp this weekend and I just thought it'd be best if I stayed home and I know we came over here and and did this but uh we're going to be heading back to the house and taking it easy the rest of the day. So we'll get to spend some time. We have plenty more summer to spend with Donnie and Kathy down at the river. But I hope they have a great day and um, they enjoy their day together. And a uh, happy anniversary to you guys. And I uh, appreciate your all's friendship, Bill, and uh, all you do for, for us and everything. So. And tomorrow is National Cancer Survivors Day. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that it was tomorrow, but uh, and celebrating all the thrivers, survivors, and warriors. Okay, so um, I try to get this this uh, um, video out tomorrow, and uh, we're going to celebrate National Cancer Survivors, Cancer survivors Day. Warriors. And uh, we got a survivor right here. Fourteen years, folks. And uh, it's, it's proof that it can be done. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, we'll, we'll release this video tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, happy National Cancer Survivors Day tomorrow, and uh, <laughs> we'll see y'all again next time, hopefully, uh, on my stage four journey. We will see you then. Bye. Bye.